Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again. Um, boy, is it just me or these these past few releases of big titles have been nothing but disappointments? Oh my God! First, it was the first Evolve, then eighteen eighty, the Order eighteen eighty six, and now Battlefield Hardline. Is this I'm? Is this beginning ridiculous? Oh, here's what I'm talking about. Um. If you if you check out Angry Joe's channel, again and shout out to his channel by the way, um, I don't agree with the guy all the time. You know, there's some things I agree with, and some things I disagree with. But lately, he's been hitting, when it comes to these releases, he's been hitting it right on the nail. He's been hitting home runs, dude. And I don't think he's gonna. And the way he's going, I don't think he's gonna stop anytime soon. And this time, he hit to hit this straight out of the park because I saw his review on um Battlefield Hardline. I was very skeptical because. I was one of those unfortunate souls who got Battlefield 4 at launch, and man, that was a fucking disaster. From the single player gameplay getting corrupted, having star over, and I thought, oh, maybe it was a multiplayer infected. Even the multiplayer was infected. All your progress, all those weapons you worked your ass off to get, gone in an instant because of a because of a huge launch bug. And it's just crazy how how did how did something like that get over EA? It's it's mind-bogglingly insane. So then, it's to no surprise to when I hear that. Oh, guess what? Hardline's a big, big piece of shit. When when he was saying when when he when he starts his video saying you know I fucked it up, Pfft. you know this game sucked. And when the when he, you know it's funny when he soon he said, excuse me, soon he said oh you know I fucked it up with his when he, you know I fucked it up. I mean I immediately said I knew it, I knew it, I fucking knew it, I fucking knew it, I fucking knew it. I mean lately. I don't want to these companies lately. Ubisoft is slipping. EA is slipping. My God, you know. I mean, just the way this shit's going. This is just, I mean, I mean, the way it will probably cause another gaming crash. You know what I'm saying? The, the way this is going. I mean, I love, you know, I mean, my God, I mean, I mean, this is, I mean, this is fucking ridiculous. And I'm look, I'm so looking forward to, I really want to be pumped for Star Wars Battlefield. I mean, my God, I want I want that game to be good, or Battlefront, whatever it's fucking called, Battlefield Battlefront. Point is, I want that game to kick ass, not be a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I commend people, you know, the people that make, you know, Batman Arkham Knight and Uncharted for. I, I commend them for delaying the game because they want their games to be excellent. I rather wait till two, three years from now. And that and, and and make it worth my while, and that game be epic and amazing, and be talked about and talk and be talked about for years to come, than some unforgettable piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, here's here's an example of a great game that was delayed. It got Max and Payne was, I believe, announced back in 2010. That game didn't come out till 2012, ladies and gentlemen. Then I could be wrong, but I know it was. It, was, it didn't come out the year it was announced. That I can guarantee. And if I am right. That was two years. How did they do? Fucking amazing. It's a great game. To me, one of my one of my favorite, and not the the favorite Max Payne game. It was fun. It was very noirish, action packed, and it was worth the wait. There was no bugs, no glitches, and ran mwah, perfectly. I'd rather wait two years after games another to be amazing than to be rushed out the door and for be and then be a giant piece of shit. I mean, that's the thing that I've been with these games lately. I mean, look, look what happened with, um, Assassin's Creed Uni. Bugs galore. Look what happened with Mass Effect, uh, look what, I mean, look, look, look what happened with Mass Effect. Well, that's another story where it's ending with three. At least they fixed it. And even with some people saying that's not good enough, that's another story. Halo, f and Master Chief Collection, multiplayer, I heard last time I checked, still not working. I'm even hearing rumors, which don't quote me on this, but this is a rumor that the Halo fan boards are like, if this shit, if this shit's not fixed, we will we'll boycott and not buy Halo Five. And I, if it's true, I can't blame them. I mean, you know what? It's spent a lot of money on a broken. I mean, I mean, Halo campaigns are fun, yes. But another thing about that Halo that makes it great is its multiplayer, and its multiplayer is not working. So you, I can't blame people for being upset. On something that's one of the main components, that's like on Call of Duty. Though Call of Duty has some great, in my opinion, great, some great 
action set pieces in terms of campaigns, but their multiplayer is not working, then they're screwed because that's 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 their bread and butter. Blah, 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 their bread and butter. Same thing with Halo. And then, you know, the, the Evolve being the mess that it is, if you want to find out more details of, of how much of a mess it is, go to, um, like, a, watch Angry Joe. He has a review on that, and boy, let me tell you, it is not worth your money. At least, at least with Dying Light and the Order, it's one of those games that you, 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 those games aren't that bad. You can get them at least when they're cheap. Like when they're like on the bargain bin, like twenty, fifteen, twenty dollars, then yeah, okay. Same thing with Battle, Battlefield Hardline. Between fifteen and twenty bucks, that's what it's worth. But not this sixty or hundred twenty dollar or seventy dollar price tag they're asking for, because all this extra content is very, very bare bones. And like I said, if you want to find more specific content, I mean, I mean more, I mean more like specific detail into why it failed. Um, like I said, check out his channel for that as well. But after this video, of course. But it brings me to the question of, of, of the video, of the title we saw the video. Is is Star Wars Battlefront, or Battle... Is Star Wars Battlefront in trouble? In my opinion, yes. Do I want to be in trouble? No, I want that game to kick ass, take names, and be like the ass-kicking game of the year. I want to be like the best game ever. I don't want to be a... I don't want to be... A glitchy piece of shit like with hard lines being, I mean, no, not, it's not glitchy. Why well, is it certain glitchy? Like just being bad or be a giant disappointment like Destiny. I want to be something that's memorable, like Battlefield Three. I mean, Battlefield Three, in my opinion, that launch was perfect. I mean, yeah, the beta was what it was, but when I got Battlefield Three, it launched perfect. The campaign was fine, the multiplayer was fine. I had no problem with it. Battlefield Four. Disastrous, fucking disastrous. And granted, there was no bad bug and glitches like that in this launch, thank God. But still, it's just bare bones, not that great. Story mode, story is not that great. Multiplayer is not that great. I mean, it's not worth your time. So it, it makes me when I see this shit, it really, really makes me worried for um for Battlefield, man. I'm, I'm, so, I mean, for Star Wars Battlefield, I want that game to be awesome. But the EA just keeps rushing out their products to make money. Then oh God, I'm just worried about it, guys. I mean, I may be crazy. To what do you think? Do you feel the same way? Do you feel Battlefields and Battle Star Wars Battlefields in danger, of, uh, in trouble? Tell me what you guys think, because it might be. I think it is, because if EA keeps doing this, the crap they're doing, no one's either gonna buy it, or no one's gonna buy it, or or if it or or if it does bad, it's we're in the age. Where if something goes bad, it spreads like wildfire. You gotta come correct with your shit. I don't care if EA, EA, listen, if you're listening somehow to this video, delay that video, if, if, if you feel you need more time to work on it, delay, do, follow the examples of Batman and Uncharted. Delay it 120 times until that game comes out stewed to perfection. We rather wait, because a great game lasts forever, so it's a bad game. You don't want you don't want to be known as you don't want you don't want, you don't want Star Wars Battlefront to be that game, the pooper of the century. You want to be the game that people 10, 20, 50 years, 20, 10, 20, 50 years from now saying, man, for its time that was a great shooter. You want people to say, nah, uh, with a giant piece of shit or giant dis disappointment. You don't want to hear that. I thought anyone does. How I wouldn't if I was a video game developer. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. Folks, tell me what you think in the comments below. I am really worried about this game, folks. Because it's Hardline's, um, terrible, um, terrible, uh, uh, launch. It's just ridiculous, folks. I'm just worried about this game. It's just, just tell me what you think. On the comments below, me, I'm worried about it. Alright, folks, that's my two cents on the matter. This is Rocky of Blade, signing out. Hope to see you guys again in EA, please. Don't fuck this game up.